I want to show you one of my favorite recipes from the Fresh Eggs Daily Cookbook. Today we are going to make eggs baked and butternut squash rings. This is a super hearty dinner option. It's great if you're having people over and someone doesn't eat meat or if you're just trying to cut down on the amount of red meat that you're eating. Um, just super healthy, low carb. Anyway, to get started you're going to want to take a butternut squash and cut it into rings that are about three quarters to one inch thick and then take a spoon and just empty out all the guts and seeds. Feed those to your chickens because they will love them. Once you've got that done, you want to put the rings on a baking sheet with some parchment paper and then drizzle them with olive oil, salt and pepper and put them in a 425 degree oven for about 20 minutes. You just want to soften the squash up a bit because it's going to take a lot longer to cook than the eggs. Once your squash is cooked, then you're just going to break an egg into each ring. They fit really perfectly. I've also seen this done with peppers. I don't particularly like peppers or different types of squash, but I think the butternut squash is just so nice because the color is so similar to the egg yolks. So once you've broken your eggs into your squash rings, back in the oven for about eight minutes, you can kind of play around with it depending on how runny you want your yolks or if you want them a little more firmly cooked. But then once they come out, they're going to look like this. The nice thing about this recipe too is you can scale it up or down. You can make as many or as few rings as you want. Um, so my rings are done, the squash is cooked, the eggs are cooked, and then I just like to plate them a little more olive oil, a sprinkle of some grated Parmesan cheese, salt, pepper, and some baby sage, fresh baby sage leaves. Super, super delicious, super easy. Baked eggs and butternut squash rings from the Fresh Eggs Daily Cookbook, which is available anywhere books are sold.